It has been found that the knife man who carried out the Sydney shopping center slaughter had a covert life as an escort who provided men and women with online sex services. His relatives described the attack as truly horrific. After going on a stabbing rampage on Saturday, Joe Kochi killed six people and left a nine-month-old infant fighting for her life. New information about Kochi has surfaced. The incident at Sydney's Westfield Bondi Junction claimed the lives of the shoppers, and then a brave female police officer shot and killed Kochi. The 40-year-old knife man has previously registered on a number of websites catering to men seeking escorts, including as Australia Cracker, Empire Escorts, and Escorts Australia. Kochi listed himself as a athletic good-looking 39-year-old from Sydney who was searching for a fun time on his online biography. He also offered a number of closed-door services that are too explicit to disclose. Kochi was recognized by police as the perpetrator of Saturday's stabbing spree, and Assistant Commissioner Anthony Cook stated that he was very plainly experiencing mental health problems. Mr. Cook stated, We are aware that he seized control of a recognized storage facility not long after arriving in Sydney. While we are still working on the offender's profile, it is becoming increasingly evident to us that this has something to do with the implicated person's mental health. According to a statement released by his family through Queensland Police, he has experienced mental health problems since he was a teenager. We are absolutely devastated by the traumatic events that occurred in Sydney yesterday. The family wrote, Our hearts and prayers are with the victims' families, friends, and those who are still receiving treatment. Joel did some really horrible things, and we're still not quite sure what happened. Since he was a teenager, he has struggled with mental health concerns that we hope the police officer who shot our son is coping well. We are in communication with the New South Wales Police Force and the Queensland Police Service. We have no issues with the officer because she was simply carrying out her duty to protect others. Kochi claimed to have been an English tutor and to have grown up in Toowoomba based on his social media accounts. A keen surfer, he asked if anyone would be interested in getting together for a surf in Bondi last week in a Sydney Facebook group. Kochi stated in his shared accommodation profile that he was looking for a place to reside in the western suburbs of Sydney, specifically in Liverpool. Blacktown, Pendle Hill, or Parramatta. I adore meeting new people and exploring new intriguing places, he commented. Along with an update on the condition of the nine-month-old infant girl who was gravely hurt in the attack, authorities also released the new information. Last night, the child was taken in serious condition to the hospital and given emergency surgery. We understand baby Harriet is stabilizing this morning. A police spokesperson stated that we are aware that she had surgery and that her condition is still serious but stable. Ash Good, 38, Harriet's mother, was one of the people slain by Kochi during her spree. Last night, Don Singleton, a.k.a. Donnie, the 25-year-old daughter of multimillionaire businessman John Singleton, was identified as another victim. The fifth victim of the horrific stabbing is a local artist named Picria Darkia. 55, who is thought to have originally come from Tbilisi, Georgia. The victim, a 30-year-old Pakistani man named Faraz Tahir, was a security guard at the shopping center. Mr. Faraz was a cherished member of our community and had only been in Australia for less than a year, according to a written statement from the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community of Australia. Let us stand together in solidarity offering support and prayers to those grieving and affected by this heartbreaking loss. The organization continued. Inspector Amy Scott of the New South Wales Police Department has received recognition for her bravery after shooting Kochi to death to put an end to the horrifying attack. As the first police officer to arrive on the scene, Inspector Scott dashed through the upper level of the mall and put her life in danger by confronting the knife man who had already hurt eight other people. When the assailant turned to face her and drew his knife, she fired at him from behind, taking out his green rugby top. As she waited for backup to come, the senior police officer started CPR on the murderer and the other victims who were lying on the ground. The Prince and Princess of Wales, as well as Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, have led the appreciation for Inspector Scott's activities.
The cop, according to Mr. Albanese, was definitely a hero whose deeds had prevented many more deaths. The amazing inspector who put herself in danger and eliminated the threat to others without considering the risks to herself. He remarked that we also watch footage of regular Australians risking their lives to save their fellow countrymen. The bravery we witnessed yesterday was quite remarkable. Furthermore, according to Rishi Sunak, his heart goes out to everyone impacted by the truly devastating tragedy in Sydney. He wrote, The horrific attacks at Bondi Junction are truly devastating. In a post on X, the previous Twitter.my thoughts and prayers are with everyone impacted by this heinous act of violence, and I hope that all who are hurt and traumatized today may heal. The British people are praying for you and thinking of you. Victim is good, the mother of nine-month-old Harriet, had uploaded a picture of herself with her daughter on Instagram just hours before the horrific events took place. Just because I was strolling by and happened to be wearing the same thing nine months out versus nine months in, etc. The post said, Today we are reeling from the terrible loss of Ashley, a beautiful mother, daughter, sister, partner, friend, an all-round outstanding human, and so much more. The statement from Ms. Good's family read, Thank you to the Australian people for their kind words and well wishes on Ashley and our newborn daughter. We can now say that our baby is doing well following hours of surgery yesterday. We are incredibly appreciative of Sydney Children's Hospital's medical staff's skillful attention and care. A man who raced to help Ms. Good and her baby has been praised as a hero for his heroic efforts. He described how he struggled mightily to keep the baby alive by dressing it in store clothes. At the Bondi Junction incident, a witness stopped a Nine News reporter and said, pointing to his brother, He's a hero he saved the baby. The visibly shook dad stated he tried to stop the baby's bleeding using store-bought clothing. The baby was stabbed, and yes, the mother was stabbed, he said. The mother came over and hurled the baby at me. I only attempted to help by holding the infant and compressing it. While staying with their mother, the brothers made an emergency service call. A lot of the blood on the floor hoped the baby's all right, the man's sibling said, describing the situation as very awful.